Hello and welcome, my name is Prue, or Prue LaRue, and we're back. So today I thought I would do something that would just be a bit of fun, and it's eyeshadow roulette, or my eyeshadow singles roulette. I was doing a TV show inspired singles collections, but I haven't been able to find any TV shows that really inspire me. And I do miss uh, Nets Makeup Corner's makeup roulette videos, they were really fun to watch. And I would like to keep using my singles, because I have a lot of them. So I have sat down and made the wheel of all my singles and I think let's choose six and see what happens. Alright, see the uh, Colourpop Soft Core. So as I find them, I'm just going to put them in here so we can see them all together. Inglot 290. What's it? Inglot 290. CP, take a break. Colourpop ones are so hard to find. Okay, so, so all my Colourpop ones live in a box like this and I don't know them well enough to know all their names. So when they come up I have to Google them and then find them. Inglot 494. This is 494 from Inglot. It's a very pink purple look today. I was kind of hoping for something a bit more fun. Oh, Sydney Grace Co. Seafoam. I actually know which one this one is. And it's like a really minty green. Alright, we're going somewhere a bit more exciting. Alright, so we've got Enchanted Lustres Afterlife. So here is a little palette of shades to play with. I'm probably not as excited about this as I thought it was going to be now that I have them all. So let's swatch it all. So this is Colourpop Soft Core and Inglot 494. Colourpop's Take a Break. Enchanted Lustre Afterlife. Sydney Grace Sea Foam. Sorry, this is Inglot's 290. And this is Inglot's 494. Alright, so these are today's shades. Alright, it's gonna be interesting. I feel like every time Annette does this, she gets like a really good combination. And I'm always like, damn, that's amazing. But I know she actually also buys singles that she really wants. So Too Faced Shadow Insurance and everything else on my face will be listed down below. I'm usually pretty good at updating them. Um, yeah, Annette's very good at choosing unique shadows. And for me, to be honest, a lot of the Colourpop singles that I originally bought, I think I bought them a long time ago on like a, you know, like one of their palette specials or like 50% off and I was like, oh my god. And I just randomly selected them, not thinking about how I would use them. So I think I'm going to wait for their next special that they have with the, with the singles and just try and vamp them up a bit. And I'd love to replace them with some of the neons that they have now. Like, I don't want more. I'd rather get rid of ones I don't like. Alright, so I think we're going to go in with Colourpop Soft Ochre. Soft Core. I want to call it Ochre. I don't know why. Oh, I'll bring you in. So is anyone else excited for Detective Pikachu? I don't know. I wasn't that into it initially. But the more I see advertising for it, the more I'm like, oh my god, I... I desperately want to see this movie. Uh, we went and saw Avengers Endgame last night, and I'm not I'm not a huge Avengers game like either are we. But we just I was like, oh, everyone's talking about it. I might as well go see it because I am curious. And yeah, uh, it was enjoyable. It's not something I would say everyone should go see. Um, but it was interesting. Let me know. I'd love to know if you're like an Avengers fan. Did you like it? Colour of shadows are beautiful when they work. <laughs> they always work. I blended out really nicely. I do like it. All right, let's go into. Just use the same brush, and I don't think where I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna put Inglot 290, which is this purple, on the outer. The one thing I do love about watching Avengers is that now I can understand what everyone's complaining about. And I mean, I thought it was enjoyable to watch. It was sort of exactly what I expect from those kind of movies. And I'm glad we saw it on the big screen because it, like, it, it's way more exciting to watch something like that on the big screen than at home. I don't know if I want to go to the cinema for Pikachu. I don't know. It's just so expensive to go. And you know it's going to be on TV soon. But it looks so cute. Oh, alright. I'm kind of into this now. The purple's pretty decent. 
So I've got three shimmers to deal with and sea foam. Uh, so take a break from Colourpop. I'm going to go into now. And I think I'm just going to do like this, which is like a total cop out, I know. Like it, it could be okay somewhere else, but I'm just like not into it. This is a shade I would get rid of. So going back into that other um, soft core, I'm just going to blend it in a bit better. I think I went way too heavy. I don't usually put something like that up on my inner brow, even though I know, like under the brow. I know that's like the, how you meant to get maximum shine. I think that's all right. That leaves me with the purple shimmer for my lid. Mm. I don't think it's going to be a good one. I forgot about 494 from Inglot. I don't even know why I own this shade, because I don't know. But... Is it even like a shimmer? It is shimmery. Oh my god. I swear it looks shimmery. Or if I side wipe, side swipe it's more shimmery. I think we can do something to this. Do we do a net trick and pull out some glitter? She always fixes a look with glitter. Oh, so I made one side higher than the other. Mark would be young yet. All right, so I'm going to go back to Inglot's 290. And I'm going to use that to blend out the top. I think we can get there. Afterlife is beautiful. Once that's in. And I've got some other thoughts on what I can do. magic back. Feeling a bit better. Uh, I do find the Enchanted Lustre eyeshadows just to be rather crumbly. And if I compare them to Sydney Grace and Glaminatrix, um, I hate to say it, but they have both have better formulas. Uh, though Enchanted Lustre have some really unique shades that I don't think you can really get anywhere. Let's find a nice eyeliner and make that pop. Oh, I have to to try... Oh, let's go on to the Kiko, uh, what was this, number 11? It's like a khaki green. I think it might give a nice bang. We'll find out then. All right, it's not sticking as well as it could, but I think it's darkened it up a little bit. Um, Man, I do not like what's going on right now. All right, I'm going to chuck some flower liner on. It's just really shit. I mean, I don't, I don't hate it. If the pebble shimmer was good, so I'm gonna go into Glaminatrix Bubblegum and just put that on top. I'm sorry, I know it's cheating, but I really hate this look. I see. So much better. Oh my god. Alright, I'm way happier now. I'm sorry I cheated. Sorry. I bow down to Annette's rules. Hopefully next time, if I do this again, uh, it will be... I don't know. I'll get some better choices to play with. Because I do have some beautiful shades. Alright, let me do mascara and finish my face and I'll be back quickly. Alright, well I have finished up. Here is the final look. I want to get any closer. Oh, sorry, my lips have been super dry lately, so that's why you see me, like, coating on moisturizer and then doing my lips at the end. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. I'm so sorry I cheated, but I think it really did give it a little bit more bang. I'm like, what are doing this a little bit more? It is interesting to play on my singles a bit more. I do need to curate the whole collection, though, and that's one of the big things that I find a bit of a struggle with this because they're not curated. I don't love every shadow I've got. I feel mean saying, but it's true. Um, so hopefully this will encourage me to get some stuff out of my collection and go through some other stuff. Anyway, I absolutely appreciate you for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed seeing this look come together today. And thank you so much. I just, I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mm -hmm.